Welcome to Word Economy. Today we're going to take a look at the measures of central tendency: the mean, the median, and the mode. A used electronic merchant offers seven differently priced smartphones. Our job is it to calculate the measures of central tendency for the different prices. Let's start with the mean, also known as average or arithmetic mean. The formula for calculating the mean is x dash equals one divided by n times the summation of x i. Let's take a look at the set of prices again. As we can immediately see, the merchant offers seven different smartphones with seven different prices, which means that n, the number of observations, has to be seven. Furthermore, we know that we have to sum up the individual prices x i. Our last step is to insert the numbers into the formula. We receive x dash for the mean equals one divided by seven times the sum up of the individual prices in brackets seventy plus one hundred twenty plus ninety plus seventy plus fifty plus sixty five plus one hundred thirty. The solution is eighty five euros. We now know that the average price for the used smartphones amounts to eighty five euros. A big advantage of the mean is the fact that the mean is sensitive towards each individual number and in the set of numbers, which means that each individual price is directly considered during our calculation. On the other hand, a big disadvantage of the mean is the fact that the mean is very prone to so-called outliers. Imagine the merchant offers an additional smartphone priced at three hundred euros. As a consequence, the mean would enormously increase. Even though only one smartphone is significantly more expensive than the other smartphones, in this case the mean appears less meaningful. Let's move on with the calculation of the median. The median is the value which takes the middle position in the set of number or the statistical series. The formula of calculating the median is x median equals x in brackets n plus one divided by two in case n is odd. And x median equals a half times in brackets x n divided by two plus x n divided by two plus one in case n is even. The first step of calculating the median is to arrange the individual numbers from the smallest number to the highest number in the series. We receive the following order: fifty, sixty-five, seventy, seventy, ninety, a hundred twenty, and a hundred thirty. As n is seven and therefore odd. We're able to use the first formula. We get x median equals x seven plus one divided by two. Therefore, we calculate x times in brackets seven plus one divided by two, and we receive x four. The last step is to find the fourth number in a arranged series. Eventually, we receive the price of seventy euros. Now we know that the half, respectively, fifty percent of all offered smartphones are maximally priced at seventy euros. But what would be the median if n wouldn't be seven but ten, since three additional smartphones with prices of one hundred forty, one hundred fifty, and one hundred seventy euros would be offered? Since n is even in this case, we would have to make use of the second formula. We get x median equals a half times in brackets x ten divided by two. Plus x ten divided by two and then plus one. We then receive x median equals a half times in brackets x five for x ten divided by two plus x six for x ten divided by two and then plus one. Now we have to find both the fifth as well as the sixth value in the set of numbers, and we then receive x median equals a half times in brackets ninety plus one hundred twenty. Which brings us to a price of 105 euros. The median, or the value which is located in the middle of the statistical series, therefore cannot directly be found since we always have to regard two values when we are confronted with an even set of numbers. A big advantage of the median is the fact that the median, in contrast to the mean, is not prone to outliers, since the set of numbers is arranged at first and only the value representing the middle of the statistical series is considered. Therefore, a significantly more expensive smartphone with the price of 300 euros, for example, will not change the value of the median, since 300 euros would not be located in the middle of the series. However, disadvantage of the median is the fact that, in contrast to the mean, not all numbers are regarded during the calculation of the median. Therefore, the median isn't representative for the whole statistical series. Last but not least, we're going to calculate the mode. 
The mode is nothing else than the number which occurs most often in our statistical series. In our case, two different smartphones are offered with a price of 70 euros, which leads us to the fact that the mode is 70 euros in our example. A big advantage of the mode is the fact that the mode isn't prone to outliers, since only the number which occurs most often is relevant for the calculation of the mode. On the other hand, a big disadvantage of the mode is the fact that the mode cannot be calculated in any case. For instance, when each price is different, we would not be able to receive a mode. I hope this video was helpful in order to explain the measures of central tendency. It would be great if you press the like button or subscribe for additional videos. Thank you very much and see you soon at Word Economy.